Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Easter and happy Resurrection Day. I'm so excited to be spending this morning with you. I hope you are still in your pajamas because we are having a pajama contest. So I just woke up and I'm here just to share some good news and some worship and some craft and some fun with you this morning. So we're going to start off with a little bit of worship from our friend, Miss Hannah. Hi, kids. Happy Easter Sunday. I'm Hannah, and I'm going to lead you guys in a couple songs of worship. So let's bow our heads and pray, and just thank God for this day together before we sing to Him. Jesus, we just invite your presence to be here with us today, Lord. I thank you that we get to sing these songs and, and worship you for who you are and what you've done for us, Lord. That you died on the cross and you rose again, so that we could be set free, Lord. So we just take this moment to partner with joy and, yeah, to give you the glory that you deserve. Okay, guys, I picked a couple songs. Hopefully you know them. Start singing with...
Welcome back, everybody. Oh, man, what a wonderful time of worship we just had with Miss Hannah. I sure hope you had fun dancing and singing along. Now, I want to pick up where we left off on Friday with our Bible story, boys and girls. We left off with Jesus' friends taking his body from the cross and placing it in the empty tomb. Let's see what happens. Early on Sunday morning, just as the sun peeked over the trees, three women went to Jesus' tomb. They wanted to put sweet smelling oils and spices on Jesus' body. They were very sad and a little scared. They missed their friend Jesus. How will we move the heavy stone from the tomb? One of the women asked. Even if all three of us pushed, we are never going to be able to move it. The women worried and wondered all the way to the tomb. But when they got there, they found a big surprise. The tomb was empty. The stone was already pushed away. Jesus' body was nowhere to be found. Suddenly, the women noticed a young man dressed in a shining white robe. He was an angel. The women didn't know what to do. They'd never seen an angel before. They were a little scared. Don't be afraid, the angel said. You're looking for Jesus? He is risen. He's not here. Go tell his friends that Jesus will see him soon. The women were so happy and excited to hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Jesus had come back to life. <sighs> the angel said that Jesus had come back to life. Only Jesus could do that. And boys and girls, because Jesus came back to life, he gives us new life too. Our Bible verse is 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. Something a little simpler for you that you might want to remember? Believing in Jesus makes us a new person. Wow, that blesses my heart so much, boys and girls. I know it's fun to wear bunny ears or dress up in our Sunday best or go find Easter eggs and see if they're filled with money or candy. All of that is so fun, and Jesus is so for us having fun. But boys and girls, we never want to forget the true meaning of Easter is celebrating that Jesus rose again. He gave us new life. Wow. How blessed are we that Jesus died on the cross to give us new life. Now, boys and girls, we're going to do something a little bit fun. We're going to go on an Easter egg hunt. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Marin. I'm Miss Zoe. And I'm Miss Hannah. And follow along today, we are going to be doing an Easter egg hunt and we're gonna be telling the story of Jesus' resurrection. All right, so let's find egg number one. All right. Hmm. Where could it be? I think I found it. Oh, open What's it up. There? What is what this? Is that? And this is the palm branch, and it represents Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And you can find this in Matthew chapter 21, verse 8. Okay, let's That's find number amazing. two. All right. Hmm. I think this may be it. Oh my gosh. What's inside? Let's see. What is that? What is oh, that is the bread, and it represents the Last Supper when Jesus broke the bread with his disciples. And this is in Matthew 26, verse 26. Awesome. Okay, let's find number three. Where could it be? Oh my gosh, here it is. Ooh. What do you think's inside? I don't know. Let's see. 
No, these are praying hands. And this shows that Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane praying to his Father. And you can find this in Mark 14, chapter, or verse 32. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Mm. Oh, guys, I think I found it. Let's open it up. What's this? What is that? Oh, this is the coins, and this represents Judas' betrayal of Jesus when he um, d d betrayed him and what got 30 coins. And you can find this in Matthew 26, verses 14 to 15. Oh, my wow. gosh. Okay, let's go to the next one. Where's number five? He's over there. Oh, I think it's right here. Oh. What's this? Oh. This is the rope, and this shows that Jesus was bound and led away um, by the soldiers. And this is in Matthew 27, verse 2. Wow. Now we need to find number six. Okay, where's number six? Is it this one? No. I think it might be this oh. one. Okay. Here it is. Ooh, what's in there? What is this? Wow. Oh, this is a feather, and this represents when Peter denied Jesus three times, and then the rooster crowed once that happened, just how Jesus predicted it. And you can find this in Matthew 26, verse 34. Wow. Gosh, that's so cool. Okay, number seven. Guys, I think I found it. Wow. What's in here? Ooh. This is the thorn, um, the thorns of the crown that was placed on Jesus when he was going to the cross. And this is in John chapter 19, verse 2. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Let's find number eight. Guys, I think I found it. Is that number eight? I think so. Yep. Yeah. This is number eight. Let's see. Oh, this is the purple robe, and this represents Jesus' robe that was taken away from him when he was on the cross. This wow. is in Matthew chapter 27, verse 28. That's so cool. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Do you is this it? it? Is this oh. number nine? Let's see what's inside. This is so cool. Wow, I think that's the cross. That is the cross. Wow. Yeah. So this represents, of course, that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And you can find this in John chapter 19, verses 19, 17 to 18. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So now we're on number 10. 10. Where's number 10? This is the tomb where Jesus was placed and then he rose again on the third day. And this is in Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 through 6. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. So now we should look for number 11. Yeah, where is it? Hmm. Oh, I think I found it. Whoa! That's a good hiding spot. Ooh. Let's see what's in it. What's this? What is that? Oh, this is the fish that Jesus ate with the disciples. And so this is in Luke chapter 24, verses 41 to 43. Oh, wow. Okay. We have one more egg. Who will find it? It's Hannah, where is it? Mm. I see it. What? It's right here. It was a good hiding spot. What do, you, what do you think is inside? Oh, it's the last thing. Oh, what is that? <gasps> These are the clouds. This just represents that Jesus, when he rose again he ascended into heaven to be with his father that's amazing so this is in acts chapter 1 verse 11 oh my wow. god so great Incredible. so guys we th hope you enjoyed um this little easter egg hunt and that it was just a representation of all of the steps that jesus did to take away our sins and so we can be with him once again all right, see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Welcome back, boys and girls. Was that Easter egg hunt so fun? I thought it would be best that we didn't hide Easter eggs that had candy in it because I can't share the candy with you. So we got to go through the resurrection story with our Easter egg hunt. Did you guys find that fun? Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through a craft. Are you ready? Here we go. 
boys and girls, hello, I am Miss Shauna. I am so happy to be doing your Easter craft with you this year, and we are going to be making stained glass crosses. Welcome back, boys and girls. Boy, I sure hope you have fun making that stained glass cross that Miss Shauna taught us. Boys and girls, it's been so fun spending even just a little bit of Easter with you. I sure hope you have a blessed day with your family. Um, stay safe, have fun, and remember, Jesus has risen. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much for sending your only son to die for us on the cross, God. Jesus, thank you for covering all of our sins, God. Thank you for giving us new life. We thank you for this day, God. We can't wait to celebrate you. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next week. Bye.